home in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Shout to believe in amen. amen. Number three, Mother Sarah will not allow her family to be mocked. Mother Sarah, he will not allow his family, no member of his family to be mocked. He will not allow mockery to rest on her husband or her child. If you are a woman and you are the type that brings mockery to the home, you are not a mother according to scriptural standard. You are just a fake mother. What did I call you? Uh, the, the person becomes a, a fake mother. Mother Sarah will not allow any form of mockery on her husband. You must not mock my husband. Neither will you mock my child. None of my children will be mocked. Nobody under my roof must be mocked. I am at the gate. I will not allow mockery to rest. Lift up your hands. Pro cry to God. Say, Father. Father. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Give me, Give me the power and the ability, and the ability. Not, to not to allow mockery, not to allow the spirit of mockery into my, into my home in the name of Jesus Christ. Jesus. Say, believe in amen. amen. Genesis chapter 21 and verse 9. Genesis chapter 29 and verse 9. And Sarah saw the son of Hagar, the Egyptian which she had born unto Abraham, mocking. Hagar's son was mocking the son of Sarah. Hagar's son was mocking Sarah's son. She will not allow it. She will not allow mockery. It is enough for me to allow anything because I am the gate in the house. But mockery, I will not allow in my house. You will not mock me in my house. Amen. Glory be to God. Amen. You will not mock me. I allowed you in. I allowed it to happen. I allow you to enter. But mockery will not live in this house. And that's very important. This is a woman that will not allow mockery upon her husband. My husband. They will talk back at my husband. That my husband will live this life without a child. That, that my husband will not be able to amount to anything. That people will laugh at my husband. I will not let it happen. A woman must have that mentality. I will not let it happen. I told you before that Sarah was all about her husband. Praise the Lord. She was, her existence is about her husband. She won't allow it. Not on my husband, not on my child. I can allow any other thing, not mockery. On my husband, no. On my child, no. It must go. If mockery show up, it must go. And because of the stand of Sarah, anything she stays in that house stands, even though there is a king in the house. I was telling, telling some of us, if you understand the power that God has given you, not, not the one Europe gave you to drive a man out of the house when you are not happy. It's not that one that Europe gave you. It's not the one Lord gave you. I'm talking, the one, I'm talking about the one that God gave you. He gave you by the reason of coming under. You, you, you have so come under that you have become the root of the man. Are you hearing me? You have become the root of the man. If the root is not there, that tree will crash. But we want to be, we don't want to be root. We want to be, you know, we want to show that uh, we are the person on ground. We don't want to be the root. And that's why one small thing will just clear you out and they take the ground. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. What am I trying to say? I'm trying to say you, to you concerning Sarah that she had this mentality and this ability. She has this blessing that she has this ability not to allow mockery. She allowed things. She is the one that allowed it. But mockery, she determined no. Not on my husband, not on my child. 
anything that I can allow anything no mockery no mockery on my husband no mockery on my child no mockery it's a mystery for us to understand God was looking at Sarah I was understanding this thing about this woman and I say look unto Sarah it's, it is not common to women it's not common it is just not common it, in fact it doesn't go well with a lot of women it's only when the problem lies they begin to shout remember she will not allow it on her husband she will not allow mockery you know there are some women they are okay that um, they are okay when they look more gorgeous than their husband some tradition even allow it praise God you see the only way to show is somebody listening to me yes, are you listening to me are you sure you are listening to me? They want to make sure that once you can see my wife, if you see me like this, you don't see my husband. Meanwhile, the husband's trouser is falling. <laughs> are you hearing me? The, his trouser, the man is drying up, fasting and prayer, and walk has killed this guy. Are you following me? But she is your fool. My husband is my sweet, my babe, he's my boo. He's, he's the one that is taking care of me. We just thank God for his life. Yo, <laughs> To you say yes, so we are, we are. the man, all the beard has become white. Everything has so good. <laughs> are you hearing me? <laughs> you you know that English. Everything, the cloth, it has so good. <laughs> Trousers, so good. <laughs> and he say yes, 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 yes. You know, you know. Well, I'm trying. I'm, I'm taking care of my family. <laughs> You are going. You are going. No, no, no. It won't happen. In Jesus' name. You know the reason why they say two is better than one? But why is it that two is not usually better when they get married? Why? It is because something is wrong. You were okay before you got married. You now got married, everything clear. How? What is better about that one? It's because a lot of things are not done right. Hmm. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. We say two shall be better, two is better than one. But usually we are broke after marriage. In fact, some of you have OE. They didn't know O before. When they got married, after marriage, they are OE. One friend have borrowed them how many thousand? They will pay you small more. You enter marriage with debt. You enter marriage, you don't even know where the next meal will come from. The gift they collected from the wedding, they have to eat it and pray that before it finish, something will happen. And two, it's better than one. How? Wrong foundation. Say me wrong foundation. Thank you, Lord. Number four. God will always act in favor of Sarah. <laughs> God will always act in favor of Mother Sarah. God loved that woman. Praise God. He does. In my study, I discovered God, I began to see reason. God will always favor or act in favor of Mother Sarah. Always. And we can see it in her life. You remember when they went to that country, Abimelech? Mm -hmm. And then the king took her mm -hmm. because he said they were his sister. He's my sister. Abi, you remember that story? Yes, he took her. I was preparing that on a good day. I will handle my fresh, my fresh uh, queen. Praise God. Yeah. Somebody else. Mm -hmm. Now, God acted. You would think that God acted because of Abraham. He actually acted because of Sarah. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Look at the scripture with me. Genesis 20, 18. Look at 18. Genesis 20 and verse 18. Let's read it together. It will bless you. Are you there? Genesis chapter 20 
and verse 18. All the women in the house, in the name of Jesus, may God act in your favor. Amen. Genesis 20 and verse 18. Are you there? Yes. Let's read together. For the Lord has fast closed up all the wombs of the house of Abimelech. Why? Because of joy. Hallelujah. You see, Hallelujah. I would have expected that they would write because of Abraham. But it was because of Sarah. Hallelujah. Who brought us into the Wahala? It wasn't Abraham. Abraham that Abraham that said, Let us go. He's the one that said, Okay, don't say you are my wife, say you are my sister. Amen. Amen. But to come out. Sarah is required. Yes. Women, please, wives, mothers, understand. The success of your husband is in your hands. The success of your husband is in your hands. No matter how they are working hard. The success is... Look, you have been yoked with him. Amen. You have a divine assignment in the life of that man. A very divine. If a bad woman enters into the life of, of a man, that man is dead twice. He's dead twice. Praise God. Then he will now die again from this earth and then go to hell and die again four times. Praise God. Look at this covenant man, Abraham. He said, Let us go. The woman was obedient. He said, Okay, my husband, no problem. Go to the place. Next, he say, These people, I know them. Mm, I've been traveling a lot. They will like you. You know, you're a fine woman. Just say you are my sister because they will kill me. Why do you want us to go there? We'll do what I say now. Okay, man, sir. Praise God. I am so sure I would have been praying. Hey, Prodish Tahaba Katayaba. Oh, Lord God Almighty, please guide my husband. In the name of Jesus, please have mercy. Let the enemy not grab my, my husband. Because if the head is taken out, the body will die. In the name of Jesus, please have mercy on my husband. And God was just listening. God was choosing. Was, it made a choice to be listening to the woman rather than the man. The man was making all decisions, but the woman was praying in the spirit. Say, God, he is your head. I can't tell the head what to do. But you are the head of all principalities and powers. Please speak to my head so that my head will go to the right way. Well, Lord God Almighty, you know the Bible says that if we are in hell, God can deliver you from hell. Praise God. So if my head is going down to hell, oh God, you, your hand is not too short. You have been to hell before. You can bring him out. Yes. It is not the time to be telling him. You not boo. You not a yell. Boo. I have been telling you. You will be thinking that because you are the head, you can always be doing boo. You, you anything that happens there, that's your problem. Or if king say he like me, I will follow the king. Your eye will clear. Let's <laughs> <laughs> go. Yeah, yeah. They will begin to threaten the person. So you know, you know they will put eye in my body and you say we should enter. If they come and meet me, let me tell you, I'll go follow them. Before you know, I'll become king. Yes. Uh, queen. They will threaten the man. Is somebody hear what I'm saying? They will threaten the man with nothing and say, eh, okay, there's a problem here. <laughs> oh, Jesus. But true mothers, they will still be obedience subjected to their king but in their spirit they are intercessors and they are praying because their job in life is to make sure that this my head succeed it's my head i am not the head he is the head i can't wish evil for my head can i hear an amen, amen. so it was because of sarah that is why abraham came out let me tell you, that problem your husband is inside now is in your hands. It's in your hands. There is an assignment in you to be done. There is something about you to be done to make it easy. To open that door for that man who is sweating. Not the man who is lazing about you. Are you hearing me? Today is not Father's Day. I would have gone to that side. Not the man that is man who is it is walking, being led. 
Praise God. Hallelujah. It is in your hand. It is in your hands. Because of Sarah. God acted because of Sarah. And he acted in her favor. He did, God did not start punishing Abraham for making that decision. Do you know that? No, sir. He didn't punish him. He just listened to that woman. And what that woman want, he did it in the favor of the home that she's in charge of. Praise God. Why would, why, do, do they throw away that kind of woman? They don't throw away that kind of woman. For what now? Number five. I don't even think I can finish this thing I have here. Because I have ten for you. Glory be to God. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yeah. Yeah. Number five. Maybe I will stop somewhere. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Jesus. Mothers, are you getting blessed? Hallelujah. Number five. The life of Sarah is a life of wonder. It's not a common life. It's a wonderful life because she served a wonderful God. She is serving under a man who serves and worships a wonderful God. And his name shall be called Wonderful. Why do I say that? Say that Genesis chapter 21 and verse 7. Genesis chapter 21 and verse 7. Are you there? Genesis 21 verse 7. Look at what he said. And Sarah said, and she said, who would have said to Abraham that Sarah should give, should have given children suck? For I have borne him a son in his old age. Hallelujah. This is wonderful. Amen. Amen. It's wonderful. Things that are not common used to happen in the hands of Mother, Mother Sarah. Wonderful things. Wonderful things are said about her. Not common. She's not like other women. She's not like other mothers. Wonderful things are being manifested through God in her life. What others say it is impossible with Sarah it is possible. It shall be possible with you. Amen. A life that commands wonders. When they are saying that, now so all women be, all women, they are all the same. But Sarah is not the same. That's why God said, look at that one. He didn't say look at Eve. He said, Sarah, Sarah. Say me, Sarah. There are other mothers in Israel. But he said, this one, look this one. Hallelujah. Amen. Wonderful things. Number six. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Should I stop in this number six? So that you can go and have a nice time. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. I'm not hearing them online. They have all go and start eating. Have you should I close? No, sir. Hallelujah. Number six. Mother Sarah is the type that God will let her husband to agree or obey her in specific issues. Especially in decision. <laughs> Praise God. Mother Sarah is the type that God will speak to the husband in decision making. She does not do the speaking or the commanding. God speaks for her. Because God understands that he is one that instituted the home. He knows that the man is the head of the house. But there is something about this mother, Sarah. Because of the peculiarity of that woman, she will decide on some things. It will be hard for the man but God will speak to the man and the man will do it. That is how to have a say in the decision making of your Lord and your King. Come on, say I hear. Because in Genesis 21, in Genesis 21, God said to 
to to Abraham. Let it not be grievous in thy sight because of the lad and because of thy bondwoman in all that Sarah has said unto thee. He now said, Hearken unto her voice, for in Isaac shall thy seed be called. Praise God. Hallelujah. Sister Kelly, I hear you. No problem. Hallelujah. Amen. It is time. It is time. It is time. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. It is time for me to see the rest of you too. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. So I'll be rounding up now. The Bible says, And God said unto Abraham, Let it not be grievous in thy sight, because of the lad and because of thy bondwoman in all that Sarah how I many he said all let me say all. all in all that Sarah has said unto thee hearken hearken he's telling the Lord of her life and destiny to obey her hearken unto her voice for in Isaac she's in other words she's right the man would have said no and not there's nothing she can do but god spoke for her hear me all the mothers in the house in the name of jesus of nazareth heaven will speak for you amen. i can't hear your amen. amen i said the lord god almighty will speak for you amen. it is important that god speaks for you it's so important some some mothers it is them that are speaking praise the lord Hallelujah. Uh, I don't know. I don't understand that every time, every time, every time. I don't understand. You are the one. You always making decision in this house. The only one making decision is I can only you. If you want to make decision in this house, you should consult me. At least we are in this together. Am I talking? Am I talking? You should tell me. You should tell me first before you do, do anything. What if the man refused to listen to you? Do you know that you have an advocate? Hallelujah. Amen. You have what? Have you have an advocate. Hallelujah. Amen. One that can help you. You know, you see, as, as the, God rules over your head. Amen. 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 If you don't have access to God, how can God speak for you concerning the one who decides the destiny of the home that's why you cannot afford to be such that you know that cannot pray or do not have a relationship with god praise god so sarah had that relationship with god he has a re she has a relatable relationship that will make god speak for her hallelujah Amen. hallelujah Amen. Do you know one thing? Hagar was the first person that gave birth. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen? Then later came Sarah. Who was the senior? Who was the senior? Hagar's son was the senior. Then, normally, the birth, the birth right of a firstborn should go to Hagar's son. Amen. Are you hearing what I'm saying? But you know what? Sarah stepped in. Sarah stepped in and told the man, um, look, this woman, son, will not be heir to my, with my son. No, 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 no. Please, my lord. It's not going to be like that. Let this woman go. My son is going to be the firstborn. And the heir belongs to him alone. Say me alone. alone. The man just looked at her and took the matter and began to think, no, ah, this, this is not right now. This is not how this thing is. This is not. Then, while he was still thinking the matter, God said, hello, my boy. 
<laughs> Hallelujah. Women, may God speak for you. Amen. Is it my boy, my boy, my boy, my boy? I got your back. I got your back. I got your back. You know what? You know what? Something is going you don't understand. There's a reason I bring that woman to your life. So, that matter that is bugging you now, just settle it, yeah? What that woman said, yeah? Just do all. How many? Oh, yeah, fe, fe, fe. just drive those one as she said it. Do it like that one. Amen. The thing I want to talk is what she's saying. She's talking my mind, so I agree with her. Praise God. And as soon as God said it, it became easier for the man to do because the man was a destiny man. He's a man connected to God. Praise God. Are you hearing what I'm saying? So as soon as that happened, he said, okay, okay, since God has an in the matter, no problem. Okay, Hega, uh, your time in this house has ended. Eh? Carry your son. Take, 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 take. Sit down. Choose. Praise God. Hallelujah. From that moment, he began to see his, uh, uh, Isaac as firstborn. And everything he has went to Isaac. You see how God orders it? By the hand of Mother Sarah. Mother Sarah, that was said she was so rooted. She was not, she, she was spiritual iron woman. Never control her husband. No. God gave her. She, she has submitted herself to God. Submitted herself to husband. And God speak, spoke for her. In decision making, is not in a place to make decision. Praise God. Hallelujah. It is in the hands of the man. But God spoke for that one. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Lift up your hands, women. Say, Father God. Father God. In, the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. From today. From today. Speak on my behalf. In every areas of my life, in my home, and concerning the decision of my Lord, Father, speak for me in the name of Jesus Christ. Pray for one minute. 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 In Jesus precious name we are prayed. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I'd like to give you one more we'll prayer. Praise God. Yeah. Number what now? Mother Sarah is God's choice for his blessing. I'm praying for all the mothers in the house that from today you will become God's choice for blessings. Genesis 17, number 16. I will bless her and give thee a son out of her. Yea, I will bless her and she shall be a mother of nations. I thought that we hear an amen. amen. Kings of people shall be of her. It is always the will of God By choice to bless Mother Ab uh, Mother Sarah, praise God. Hallelujah. How would you live your life in such a way that you command the blessings of God? You attract the blessings of God. It is when you are able to give yourself to all the things I've mentioned before now. Then God begins. It becomes God will to bless you. Hallelujah. Amen. If you will not, the opposite happens. It is somebody like Mother Sarah 
like that that God begin to make a choice to bless he will just decide finally that I want to bless this one no ordinary children will come out of this one it will be kings royals Amen. hallelujah Amen. there are people who give back they give back to thieves and robbers some people gave back and their child has become homosexual and uh, what do you call the other one Is you, all those things praise God they give back and they become I was oh God have mercy on Facebook I saw this particular guy and a dusty guy on Facebook you know, he was just talking. Ah. Even somebody wrote and said, "Ah, now woman boy, he was behaving like a woman." Uh, you know, what do they call shentro? What is shentro? Uh, um. Something neatly, I don't know. Uh. You know, that's sh the, the shentro. Something dirty. I don't know what shentro is, but I think it's something dirty. You know, that Shentro cannot end. They can't stop Shentro. And she was doing like a woman, talking like a woman. And I'm like, oh, oh. There are some children that cause sorrow for their mothers. The day they gave birth to them, they were happy. They didn't know that this is how this one will turn to. May your mother not regret over you. And he was on live, live Facebook. He was not shy. He was drinking and talking and doing like a woman. In fact, somebody from my place was an Edo guy. Even wrote him and said, "Don't bring disgrace to Edo people." This guy must you come to Facebook? Those are the people that bring shame to where we came from. No dignity. Chikolo. And that person may have a mother. And somebody gave back to him. Hmm? The when they gave out, he said, God has blessed me. This one, blessing. This one, blessing. This one is blessing. Oh, we thank God for this blessing. Oh. Not all child that is born that is a blessing. Oh. Not all. Some is a cause. They missed it. Praise the Lord. Oh, I'm praying for all the mothers again. You will not weep over your children. Amen. So that you gave back does not mean a blessing. There is a job for you as a mother to do. Do you know one thing? You know Sarah. Let me tell you something. Sarah, when Isaac, the, the, the servant of Abraham, went to go and bring, bring a wife for Isaac, when he brought the wife, guess the first place they took the wife too. Where? To who? The mother's tent. It was not to Abraham. It was not to Abraham. The first place of call was to Sarah. Amen. Amen. Sarah is the one that will decide on that matter. Praise God. Amen. Then Sarah, who knows that I can't conclude without my king, he is the one that will present the proposition. This one is very good, my lord. I have checked this, checked that, checked that. Check. It is good for our son. The man said, since you said so, it is so. Praise God. Yeah. That's Sarah for you. Because Sarah knew how he raised Isaac. He knew. He, he, he raised the child. Praise God. He knows the thing that is fit for the son. He knows because the way he has served under, I mean, he, the way he has served under her Lord, the way she has lived under her Lord, he doesn't want another Jezebel woman to come and enter the sun. Praise God. Amen. So he said, it's, it's okay. It's okay. Praise God. Amen. Save me the blessing. blessing. It is important because the blessing has to flow, it won't stop in her. It has to flow to the next. That is why you will notice that some things that happened to Abraham, it also happened in Isaac. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Somehow there is always an escape. Yes, sir. Somehow. No matter what, there is still an escape. Because it must flow. That grace must flow. Amen. It must not stop. That's why the type of woman you are matters the type of mothers you are some of us who are feeling somehow 
Oh, because I don't have my husband now. Eh, because I don't have my child now. Leave that thing. If you see some people who have children, you will not want to have children. Praise God. Hallelujah. Why? When you see others, the way they have their children, you will want to have. Not everybody who gets married that are enjoying their marriage, their life. No. Some are, some are even in bondage. They are not free. They are thinking, who will deliver me from this place? Some people are praying. Even Abigail did not pray that prayer. Praise God that God killed my husband. She didn't pray that prayer. But some people will pray that prayer these days. Father, kill this man so that I can be free. Praise God. Belwa, Belwa, so that uh, I can be free. Praise the Lord. Please understand God's people. That you have a lot to learn from Mother Sarah. Have you learned today? Yes, sir. I said, have you learned today? Yes, sir. Now, your job is to take these things and begin to work on them. Praise God. Hallelujah. So that you that grace from your mother, your spiritual mother, can flow to you. So you have no excuse now. So you say, because my mother was something, something negative. You too have to be something, something. You will say, because I was raised, my mother raised me in some certain way that is not good. So that's why I am like this. No. The Bible says, look unto who? Sarah. Not your mother. Sarah. That one. Our grand, 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 grand. Not that one. You say because your mother was a prostitute. That's why I'm also a prostitute in Europe. Who sent you? Look at Abraham. Abraham, uh, Sarah was not a prostitute. She was not lazy. That's why her husband can come anytime and send her a message. She will do it. She wasn't lazy. Hard-working woman. Praise God. Hallelujah. Spiritually sound. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When she makes decisions, God is watching over her decisions. Praise God. When she said, my husband, enter into our maid. Uh, because um, I, I, I want to hear joy in this house. I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid. I just want us to just have a family. What did I say? I want to have a family. I don't know how. Just, I, I desire a family. That's all. I desire a family. Finish. I don't know how. I don't care how. I desire a family. I won't have you die like this. Praise God. No, 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 no. I, I, I desire a family. Praise God. By the time God stepped in, ah, uh, see how he arranged it now. Hallelujah. When mockery start to come in, God kicked out mockery, and everything was in place. Praise the Lord. I'm not afraid. Sarah is not afraid. He's not afraid of being your friend as long as you don't mock her. She's not afraid. She's not afraid to share anything with you. Don't mock me. My God will rise up. Praise the Lord. And that's the secret. Hallelujah. I want it this way. I am saying you should do this one. The same thing. The man was like this. Praise the Lord. Pointing. Hallelujah. I'm only trying to make you understand that there is something special about uh, about Sarah that God identifies with hallelujah and he loves it and if it was wrong if you think it is wrong God was on the case that's how I see it praise God if you think it's wrong God was what on the case praise the Lord I pray that in the name of Jesus God is already on your case Amen. In Jesus name rise up on your feet lift up your voice and begin to bless the name of the Lord God Almighty